Hello everyone, this is Julie from Femme Mechanic Designs. Today, I talk about Spectrolite while I cab. Spectrolite, an exquisite and uncommon variety of labradorite, hails exclusively from the enchanting landscapes of Finland. Distinguished by its remarkable hardness and rarity, Spectrolite boasts a broader and more vibrant color spectrum, featuring captivating shades of blue, green, yellow, pink, orange, and purple. This stunning array of colors is attributed to its opaque base, setting it apart from labradorites with a clear matrix, often linked to the ethereal beauty of the northern lights, aurora, and a radiant rainbow. Spectrolite stands as a gemstone of unparalleled elegance and allure. This stone is renowned for its captivating optical phenomena, labradorescence, and shiller, which contribute to its unique mesmerizing and shimmering appearance. Spectrolite, like other labradorite varieties, is primarily composed of plagioclase feldspar. The specific mineral composition includes a combination of sodium and calcium aluminum silicates. The iridescence or play of colors in spectrolite is attributed to the presence of the fine lamellae with the feldspar mineral. Plagioclase feldspar is commonly found in various types of igneous rocks such as granite, diorite and basalt. It can also occur in metamorphic rocks. The mineral has a triclinic crystal structure and is characterized by its twinning, which often produces fine parallel striations on the crystal surface. As for the hardness, spectrolite falls within the 6 to 6.5 on the most scale of mineral hardness range. The most scale ranges from 1 softest to 10 hardest. And the stone's hardness indicates that spectrolite is moderately hard this moderate hardness makes spectrolite suitable for various jewelry applications, but it's important to handle it with care to prevent scratches or damage. This stone is particularly well suited for those who are new to or in the intermediate stages of cabbing, as it possesses a more forgiving nature compared to harder crystals. For instance, when compared to amethyst, which ranks around 7 on the most scale, this stone offers a gentler learning curve. The challenge lies in its semi-delicate nature, where exerting too much pressure may result in a breakage due to the presence of inclusions. Additionally, overheating poses a risk of lifting thin lamellae, creating white bubbles. In such cases, the process involves revisiting a prior grid, removing a layer, and continuing with the cabbing procedure. At the end of this video, you'll notice another spectrolite showcased within its bezel. Interestingly, it's the same stone, but it had its share of setbacks, providing me with valuable lessons. In an attempt to enhance its appearance, I applied cerium oxide towards the end of the process. Unfortunately, insufficient water during the stage resulted in lifted lamellae. In addressing this, I had to backtrack removing the affected layer, which regrettably led to a big chip on the triangle's corner. It seems the additional heat generated from the exerting too much pressure with the cerium may have rendered the stone more fragile. Take a cue from my experience, always ensure an ample flow of water to avoid such hiccups. For my spiritual peeps, here are some interesting facts about its properties. The spectrolite is revered for its believed metaphysical properties. Widely considered a protective stone, it is thought to amplify intuition, stimulate creativity, and foster spiritual awareness. The dynamic play of colors in spectrolite makes it a popular choice for balancing and aligning chakras, particularly the throat and the third eye chakra. Additionally, it is associated with providing inner strength and resilience during periods of change, making it a captivating gem with potential energetic and healing benefits. I had a lot of fun researching and cabbing this stone. Let me know what you want me to cut next. Thank you for watching. Hope you will subscribe 
to learn more about jewelry making and about lapidary art. Take care.